This week, <laughs> Archer's <laughs> Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And like yes. we told you last week, yeah. we're heading due north in Manitoba, way north in Manitoba. Way north, up to Ken Gangler's Canadian Subarctic. Unbelievable. You know, you you know, you've made it when three beautiful women walk out of a wall tent and they all have a T-shirt saying Ralph's Angels. I'm like, this is really? cool. Really? Yes. Are you sure? I'm, I, I like like it. Okay. This week's lucky logo is Ooh. Hunter Safety Systems. One of the most important That's products right. you'll ever have. So at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do. So look for their logo. Okay. But. Yes, we did all walk out with the Ralph's Angels t-shirts, but after that, we've got so much footage, we gotta get going, and first we gotta share a special moment oh, with Shannon. Shannon in a ground blind on our first evening hunt. That <laughs> poor girl. <laughs> We got up early, got on the flight, flown out, which was at that time one of the smallest planes both of them have ever been on land at Ken's and we get on a float plane and they've never been on an otter either. I've never done any sort of um, wilderness camping so being out in the middle of nowhere um, where all you have is a sat phone and a hole in the ground and a, a canvas tent. It kind of scared me, but it, I was excited to try something new. Well, here we are. We're with Canadian Subarctic Ken Ganglers. We are in the middle of nowhere, the wilderness. We are bear hunting. It's Ralph, Vicki, Shannon, and myself. And uh, we decided that we were Ralph's angels for the week because Ralph is stuck with three females. So we have these t-shirts created and we are on our way to show him our creation for the week. You know what, Ralph? <laughs> you don't get, look at Ralph. Come on, you can't do that. <laughs> Did you wait? Turn around. Give me the camera. This is cool. <laughs> okay, but... Ralph's angels. <laughs> Here at Ken, Ken Ganglers, I'm roughing it. The very first day we sat out, uh, Shannon and I, we sat the first afternoon. We filmed an opener, turned the camera back around, and all of a sudden we hear this just a little sh noise, and he was back. And, he, and I just peek out of the blind, and he wasn't five feet from the blind on the ground from Shannon and I. And he came around and he gave Shannon a shot. Well, I don't know what she was doing, but all of a sudden I hear this noise. The bear looks at us and takes off running. That's the next thing I see is that bear's running and I'm filming him running away. And I look down at her and I go, did you just fall? And I go to draw back and it's kind of an uneven surface. I just fall over. <laughs> now shot, just fall over. I just can't believe I did that. Did you just fall? <laughs> <laughs> and Vicky's sitting there and I'm like, what are you thinking? turns around and looks at me, it's just like, give me the camera. How quiet can you get your bow? I gotta take off these headphones. She got through them and down under the jacket. Well, that was a I know.
I'm standing for an hour. This bear does not present any shot. He's sitting down, and just when we think he's gonna get up, he kinda just moves his butt over and, <laughs> and sits back down. Finally, about yeah. almost nine o'clock, the bear finally, he sat there and he looked at the barrel and he just dumps the barrel down and he stands up finally. He went about 44 yards and dropped right there, and it was so intense knowing that. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I, I conquered a beast. I can't stop And it, it was really intense, and it was really cool. And I'll never forget that experience. And it was really cool to have Vicky there with me to show me how to do that, and, and I'll, I'll never forget this hunt and what I've learned from this time. Thank you. Look at that, Ken Ganglers, only at Ken Ganglers and Manitoba Monsters. Oh my God. What do you think, Dan? How'd you well, it's a beautiful bear. It's about uh, 11.45 at night and the sun isn't down. Nope. So, uh, yes. I have a camera light. <laughs> Very nice, beautiful bear, thank beautiful you. bear. Thank you, thank you for putting us here tonight. <laughs> yeah, it worked out well. Oh my God. The cameras, uh, did their job too. This is exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, and I don't know if, if anything can compare this hunt. This was a dream hunt for me, and it was a dream that came true, and it was so intense, and I'll never forget it. Congratulations, Shannon. Wow, that Shannon, so that was cool. so awesome. I mean, this is her first bear hunt. She goes up there, and you know, first she falls over and kind of has a blooper. That was eh, great. Which is awesome to be able to share with everyone. But then for her to actually go ahead and be successful and to go ahead and get herself her first bear. For you guys to switch off and hunting, all that, she that was, was filming, and it just worked out just perfect. Way to go, Ralph's Angel. <laughs> now we're gonna go to the other Ralph's Angel, Dusty. This is so cool. That's right. You guys were out in the ground in the ground blind, and, you and guys little Dusty. Heard him walking. We hear him walking you. on the back of us, and all of a sudden we, he comes in back of the mare step blind, yeah. and his nose is smelling the blind. And I, I'm like, don't, don't, don't give it too much Dusty, don't move. Okay. And you can rise him. Dusty and I are in the mare step ground blind and we're hunting and we get this bear coming in. So he starts to come and he walks straight to almost like nine o'clock to Dusty and I see Dusty's eyes like, <gasps> you know, hyperventilating and the adrenaline rush that like nothing else can give you. And this bear comes right in back of us. You can hear him smelling the blind, messing with it. And I'm just telling Dust, it'll be cool. Don't worry, don't be alarmed. He just slowly meanders back, goes back, and again, it, patience pays, pays off in any hunting situation. The bear goes back and he, he grabs some bait. Dusty says, you know, are you, you know, I wanna take him. I said, that's cool. So I'm filming, Dusty's ready to go, and he takes a beat, piece of bait and he, he walks away.
<clears throat> Two hours max. <clears throat> this bear came in, circled all the way around us, came up right behind us and stuck its nose to the blind in the back of us, then came in, stole some licorice. We are bearing down here at Ken Gangler's Canadian Sub-Arctic. I took this beautiful black bear this evening, about 7.30. Not my biggest black bear, but it was my first black bear out of a ground blind. And he was two feet from us at one point, right behind the blind. Talk about your adrenaline pumping. But it was definitely an adrenaline rush that I can never top as far as that goes. We are here, it has been an awesome trip. I have had the experience of a lifetime. We've been fishing, caught some massive northern pike, and now I have just harvested this beautiful black bear and he's going back to Ohio with me. Baron Down has been awesome this week. Congratulations, Boy, Dusty. Dusty. You, you, she really, where she had to put that arrow, she put it on that quarter and like that shot, perfect. She did good. Yeah. Now we're gonna switch what places and Dusty's actually gonna film you. And, Dusty and she was, was nervous. She was nervous about filming Ralph. Well, you know, when, when- You're kind of on a pedestal. No, but when I control the angels, I mean, they There's should no, all be nervous. Yeah, you should be nervous. Thank you. <laughs> And I, I believe it was around nine o'clock or so, we heard a branch snap directly in front of us. And Ralph looked at me and said, bear, bear, bear. Here comes the bear and as he's coming in, he walks directly to us. Now we are in these tripod stands, they're, they're about 10 foot tall. This bear knows something's up and we're sitting there not moving. To score your skull, your bear skull, you're gonna measure from one side to the other side on the width and from the top and the bottom for your length. Add the two and that's gonna give you your measurement. Pope and Young is 18 inches. Boone and Crockett's 21 inches to make the book, 20 to make honorable mention. And just a real quick tip for you, honorable mention, Boone and Crockett, 20 inches. A 20 inch skull is kind of like shooting a whitetail, maybe a 170, 180. There are not a ton of them out there, but when you get one, it's definitely a trophy.
So he comes up and he just hunkers down and for the longest time we're sitting there and he's just gorging. Boom, he went like 15 st steps or not even and, and goes down and we're like, this is cool, you know, and I mean, and then the high fives and the hugging, and I gotta tell you, you know, when you, when you got pretty women filming you, that hugging and high fiving after the hunt is way better than doing it with like Z or Joe, I gotta tell you. This is why, this is why for years we come up here and we call it Manitoba Monsters, Ken Ganglers, and what a magnificent bear. You could see that he really wintered hard, real hard. He didn't suffer, and he only went 15 feet maybe. What a beautiful bear. Oh yeah, yes. Congratulations. Was that, uh, that's now a that beautiful, was beautiful, that was, beautiful color bear. That was a fuller bear though. Yes. Because most, if you know, as I was watching him, I could see, you know, his head and everything. He was very gaunt, so that means he wintered very hard. Yeah, he looked really skinny, so you'd almost hesitate on shooting that bear. But then not me. Yeah, no, he didn't hesitate. Do you all. see the color? He's a he's gonna be a full mount. I no, can't wait. No. Yes, he is. No. Not unless you're moving out with him. Ooh, hey, this week's lucky logo was Hunter Safety Systems. If you happen to see it, you need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on that lucky logo button, and someone's gonna win a Hunter Safety System, which is the most important part of your gear when if, you're in a tree. If any of you are out there and you're hunting from a tree stand or you're setting up tree stands and you're not using a, safe, a full, full body safety harness, please, just remember your family. That's right, if it's not for yourself, do it for your family. Absolutely. Next week, we're heading up to the Yukon McMillan River, baby. Moose mania. That's right, so you don't wanna miss it. It's a two-part show. Yep, 50 yep. pounds of back straps, baby, a piece. <laughs> <laughs> we wanna thank you for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. In the Yukon.